Okay, <clears throat> I am in chapter 20 of the Culture in the Rye, and I am absolutely in love with Holden Caulfield. Caulfield. It's not really a surprise because of the way that people have been describing this novel to me. And I, I don't even know anymore if it's just like a placebo effect where people tell me things or I read things and then I assume that's going to happen. I don't know, I cannot really judge my objectivity anymore, but I don't care because I still enjoyed this very much. It's so, um, I guess, ultimately what we like <clears throat> in people are things that we find mainly, right? It's not always the case, but mainly we like seeing people that we identify with in some regard. I kind of do. I mean, I wish I have read this when I was 16. Um, everything is different back then, and it's, I don't know, um, for me, it's kind of uh, weird thinking that I have not matured so much in 10 years, in 11 years, actually. So I feel the same way as I, I felt when I was 16, and that's, like, not a good thing, I guess, because... Um, <clears throat> I have, I, I, I don't know, we have to be a little bit more mature, I guess. But anyway, I'm chapter 20, he is already in New York, he has, uh, he just met Luz, whom he, he says he, he was a, an intellectual and he enjoyed being with him and those things, um, but anyway, and now I'm gonna, I just, I just can't wait to know what how this is going to end like what is really the purpose of it all or if it's just getting to know him and it's just a character based novel which is also cool um but i'm really excited to meet his uh, his little sister he who <clears throat> he loves her very much i think so uh, let's see what happens